Yo, what's good, people? It's Tapping Tobes here. I'm here to quickly, quickly give you an update on two of the names that are running through the rumor mill at the moment. We've just got Spence through the door, six signings in now. What is next? What is next? And I'm not just talking about the outgoings because we know that some players are going to go, but what is next potentially in terms of players who could still come in the club? Yes, I'm greedy. I want more. And I feel like the club know that there's an appetite for more for the right player. But before we get into it, I want you lot to do me a couple of things. I want you lot to smash the like button if you ain't smashed the like button already. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I hope you hit that subscribe button now. Please hit the subscribe button and turn your, no your post notifications on because I do dot these videos around here and there over the course of a week. Um, it's been a minute. I say a minute, it's been a couple of days, but I'm back. And I want to talk about two players in particular. I want to talk about Nicolo Zaniolo and I want to talk about James Madison. Yeah, because those are the two names that are ringing bells right now. There's rumours that Paratici is in Italy. Uh, we heard that he was meant to be discussing a loan move for Brian Hill. And then it changed to discussing a loan move for Tanganga. And now the latest news is potentially he could be discussing the possibility of a Spurs signing Zaniolo. Now, what can I say about Zaniolo? He looks a good player. Whenever I've watched him, he catches the eye. I still think at times he's rough around the edges. His decision-making is a bit inconsistent, but he's clearly a good player. Yeah, he's got good technique. Yeah, he can play off the right mainly, but he can play support strike. And I'm pretty sure I've seen him play full snipe. Now, he's not a player that I've watched extensively, but I've watched enough to form a basic opinion on Zaniolo, which is why I say he's a good player and why if Spurs were to sign him, I wouldn't complain. I think that's a good signing for Spurs. But... But, 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 there is a but with Zaniolo. The injuries, the guys had two massive knee injuries. Now, he did bounce back last season, played 42 times for, for Roma. I'm sure not all of them were starts. I didn't watch all of them, but I watched, I watched some when I was, when I was watching Serie A. Um, I feel like he's got a decent understanding with Tammy Abraham. And I feel like with Zaniolo, you can, you can literally feel his impact in the game because he's so strong. He's a good runner of the ball. He can carry the ball from the from the halfway line into, into the final third. He's not a playmaker, but he can fashion chances for others. He can to put the ball on a plate for others. And he's got a really powerful left foot. He can use his left foot. I think the output isn't there yet in terms of goals, but he's still young. He's 23 years old. Yeah. He's going to add goals to his game. And let's not forget, as like I said, he's had those two big injuries. But it's because of those two big injuries, yeah, and the profile that I personally want from the next sort of attack-minded player that we bring in, those are the reasons why I would prefer someone like a James Madison. Yeah? Not to mention as well, Zaniolo, he's got two years left on his deal, which is the same territory as Madison. Two years left on his deal. I can see why... There's, in, there's potential interest from Spurs because it looks like he doesn't want to sign the contract. So if he's not going to sign the contract, Roma is in their best interest to sell him this summer and try and make as much money as possible or sell him next summer. They don't want to lose him for free. Yeah. There's reports that Juventus, I think they're potentially interested in him. That would actually make sense because Juve have obviously lost the Bala on a free transfer, <laughs> coincidentally, to Roma. And whilst they're trying to replace the baller, they also want to bring the average age of their squad down. So Zaniola would be an idle target and a bit sort of like for like for the baller. Maybe not so much stylistically, because I feel like the baller is a lot more technical than Zaniola. I feel like he's got more strings to his bow. But in terms of positions that they play, he can play as the support striker and he can also play off the right. So there's going to be interest in Zaniolo. It's not just going to be Spurs, allegedly. Anyway, I have to put allegedly because no one credible has confirmed the Zaniolo interest as of yet. But it's not a straightforward um, deal for Spurs to make. And in my opinion, even if it was a straightforward deal for Spurs to make, I would still be saying choose Madison. Every day of the week, choose Madison. Choose Madison. Not because I think Zaniola is a squad, because I don't. I think he's a good player. I just think Madison is better for what we need now. Just my opinion. And what I mean by that is Zaniolo, I feel like he's his game 
is also based on individuality. I think he can do a couple of things off the cuff on the football pitch. He can beat three players, take the ball from one end of the pitch to another and lay it on the plate for someone. I think he can cut in on the on the right-hand side and curl a ball past the goalkeeper. I think he can do things without needing ample support from teammates. I think I like that. I like that individual sort of quality that he can bring to a football game. But James Madison can bring it as well. Not to maybe not to that extent, maybe not running past three, four players, but he's got individuality in his game as well. He's got X Factor. He can take the ball in a half turn, take two players out of the game. He can do a couple step overs and slap the ball into the bottom corner. He can do all these things. But you know what else he can do that Zaniolo can't do? He's a great chance creator. He's a playmaker. Zaniolo can fashion chances, yeah, for players. Madison is a playmaker. Yeah, he's a playmaker. There's a difference. This guy oozes creativity. He's so intelligent. He knows how to take up the best positions in between the lines. He knows how to find the attackers beyond him. He knows his surroundings. He's just so wavy, left foot, right foot. The added quality from set pieces, which I don't think we can get from someone like Zaniolo. Simply put, I think James Madison just has way more... Okay, I say way. Madison has more strings to his bow. Madison can be a threat for us on set pieces, both direct and indirect. Madison can slice a team open with one pass better than Zaniolo. Zaniolo may be more powerful. He's a much more powerful runner than Madison. He's stronger. He's got an aerial threat. But James Madison can also play as a wide playmaker on the right of a 3-4-3. Yeah. He can play behind the two in a 3-5-2. And I feel like he brings us more quality on the ball than Zaniolo. They both have two years left in their deal. I know who I'm spending my money on out of the two. Bring James Madison. Even just the other day, we saw what he did to Hull City. I know it's a friendly, but the ball gets played into him. He gets the ball. He nutmegs a player, yeah? Dribbles, 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 cuts in, beats another player and slots it. The guy's quality. Zaniolo's good. I think Zaniolo is good, but Madison is quality to me, man. Get James Madison in. Get James Madison in, please. Let Juve have Zaniolo. Let them, let them have him. That would be a good signing. But right now, Madison, I think he takes us up another notch more so than Zaniolo. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Yeah. Who do you think would be a better signing for Spurs? Zaniolo or Madison? Do you realistically think Spurs will make a move for either? Do you think that Spurs could do with both? Let me know your thoughts right here in the comments. Until then, take care, people. Peace out and up the Spurs.